For new video and content added each week, click this icon at the bottom of your screen. Thank you for the support and thanks for watching. Hello gamers, what's good? So I thought I would create a short video on how to install and run QCMA and PSV image tools. So just in case you're new to this software or just picked up your Vita and want to jump right into some sick homebrew, here we go. What is QCMA you ask? Well, it's a cross-platform content manager assistant for the PS Vita. But wait a sec, don't I have that already? Let's ask French Fry. Okay, so why do I need this software, man? Well, for one, if you are a Linux user, QCMA will work with Linux as Sony neglected to address that when they came up with CMA. So QCMA is the cross platform. And as you can see, you have your diff different Linux versions here, and you also have your Windows installer and your Mac as well. Now, as you can see here, here are some of the examples of why you would use QCMA uh, in addition to backing up your files, but it's also a great option for, again, transferring ROMs and homebrew to your PS Vita of all different, um, all different firmware versions. So I'm gonna go ahead and include this link for the website to where to get QCMA. And special thanks to Yifan Lu and Zian Knox. It's also maintained by CodeStation. I have CMA installed. However, go ahead and turn off CMA by clicking on it and hitting exit or uninstalling it for QCMA to work properly. CMA can break the operation of QCMA or otherwise interfere with it. Uninstalling CMA will not harm your Vita and if you really need to, you can always install it again. Okay, so I just wanted to point out that if you are installing the image tool first before you install QCMA, this is what you would run into. You can see that there is really nothing found and uh, the PSV image tool just doesn't know what to do because it doesn't have any files to access or a, uh, a database to, uh, to get from like when you install your QCMA. So no files or game data has been transferred, therefore um, do not install your image tool first. Always start with your QCMA. Okay guys, so I have my QCMA and I'll include the site for that as well as the image tool site as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. Okay, so after I double click that and it gets started, don't forget to allow access to QCMA to reach the internet and also that your PC allows it to be installed in the first place. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select my language. Yes, and agree. I'm going to go ahead and click install here as well and it's going to take a second and then it'll get going. This process may take longer depending on the, the speed of your PC. So I'm, I'm installing this again on a laptop. Okay. I'll go ahead and we'll click finish. And then if you want, you can uh, create an icon. All right, so this next menu here is basically where you're allowing your QCMA to retrieve its file and data, files and data. So you can change that. If you click on the browse options, you can change where you want those to go. You can also um, select the option to not retrieve any of those um, images, music, or uh, any of the, uh, like specific types of files. Really what you're looking for is your game data. 
or you can just leave it like that and uh, go ahead and click OK and it'll go ahead and just do a quick scan of that. And again, uh, don't forget to allow access to QCMA. And as you can see, it's um, it's already updating itself with the database of files that you have. So at this point in the video, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. And as you can see, what it's doing is scanning all the folders that I selected. So if you do select your audio and images and video, it's gonna go ahead and scan those as well. So the process may take a few minutes. Okay, so as your QCMA is installing, you may notice messages on the bottom right hand corner that will say that there are no files or there is no PS Vita connected. And that is because uh, if you haven't connected your PS Vita with CMA or at all at your PC, uh, those messages will pop up. But it'll change once you do connect your PS Vita and your files are ready to be transferred. So once QCMA is installed, go ahead and plug in your PS Vita with your USB. And as you can see, what it will do, it'll create a game directory. And this is basically the folder. It says pgame, and it also has uh, your save data as well. And you can see in the pgame that there is no game data because we haven't transferred any games over to our PC. But the folders are there so that the QCMA can work with the PSV image tool um, to find those folders when you want to transfer or you want to uh, create your own homebrew. Now, something you may run into with QCMA is problems with the driver. So I've included a file called Zadig or Z-A-D-I-G and I will include the link on where I found this as well. Uh, but basically what this is going to do is going to help you replace that driver. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that and then I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And then you're going to see the menu pop up. And basically um, this is where you're going to select your PS Vita so that you can update the driver for QCMA. Okay, so from this point forward, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my PS Vita if I haven't already. And then I'm going to go ahead and select Options, All Devices, and then I'm going to select PS Vita Type B. Okay, and you see that it actually uh, brings up the driver for that. Okay, so go ahead and click so you can install your driver. And this will take just a few minutes. Once our driver is successfully installed, you can go ahead and close that. And then you can go ahead and close this box as well. And your QCMA has been updated with the most current driver. So hopefully this will eliminate any problems that you have with QCMA. All right guys, our next step is going to be installing our image tools. I'll include the site to where the find this application as well so that you can download the correct version for your operating system. So as you can see I just went ahead and dragged and dropped my download to my desktop, double click to open and then just follow the instructions for installation afterwards. So once my image tool was done installing, I went ahead and clicked finish and I also clicked the little box to go ahead and launch the application. So what's going to pop up is this black box here and this little box here with your easy installer backup manager and account manager. This is where you're going to select account manager. So from account manager, you can see that I already have my uh, account name in there, but we can go ahead and click on add account and you'll see it says account name, which you can name whatever. And then you're, gonna, you're going to need your AID number as well. Okay, so go into your documents, find your PS Vita folder. So on mine, it was under my documents and PSV folder. And then I'm gonna click on P game. And this is my AID number that I'm going to need. 
So from here I'm just going to go ahead and do a long click. And then just copy and paste it. Or you can type it in. Once you're done, go ahead and click Add Account. So since mine is already added, I'm going to go ahead and skip that step. But it will say that this account has been registered. That will confirm your registration. So what this does is now when you run your image tool, it's going to look for files and game save data in this um, using this AID number, which is linked to that same folder where your game data actually gets stored. So if I close this off, and I click on Backup Manager, and if I wanted to um, exploit a uh, PSP Mini or a demo, when I click on Unsign Extract and uh, PlayStation Portable, select my account, you can see that um, I've already copied some games over with my using my QCMA and these are the ones that I can unsign and extract. So make sure that as you're installing these two applications that you install your QCMA first. Go ahead and install your driver update as well and then install your image tool afterwards. At this point you can go ahead and transfer your games over or save your game data like your PSP, go ahead and transfer that over from your Vita to your PSP using your USB. And then once that is done, just make sure that you go ahead and click refresh. It, it should refresh on its own, um, but you want to go ahead and refresh it just to make sure. On yours, it's, it might say just a few items or depending on what you're actually backing up. Okay, let's go over the steps just to uh, make sure we have everything in order. So we're gonna download QCMA, download the Zadig file, download the image tool, then you're going to install QCMA, then run the Zadig file, update your driver, and then you're finally going to install your image tool. Now you can back up your games by using the PS Vita system to PC. And of course the transfer process being used is QCMA. Okay guys, so let's make sure that we do not have CMA installed or running. Uh, make sure your firewall is not blocking QCMA or your image tools and that you allow access to these applications when installing them. You may need to right click and run as administrator in order to uh, bypass that. Check out my video with the link down below on how to install emulators on your PS Vita. Alright gamers, so that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch my videos. Um, I really hope that um, these programs do work for you. Sometimes they will have their glitches. They are not perfect programs. And keep in mind that these programs were put together to help um, with homebrew and just kind of expand on using the PS Vita. So with that in mind, uh, again, thanks for the support. Please hit like and subscribe. If you have any questions, just drop those in the comment box down below. And I uh, hope you enjoy. Happy gaming.